Our first responders here in Independence say they do the very best they can and they're pleased with their performance. But the current turnover rate may cause problems in the future and that has them concerned. Robert Mills has been an EMT in Independence for 15 years. He says he's seen a lot of new faces, which is a concern because experience matters. Have some fumble around time when they're new. By their third year, they're, they've knocked off almost four minutes of fumble around time. In Independence, union first responders say last year, 22 of the 97 workers quit a 23% turnover rate. The crisis is the turnover. I mean, it's double the national average. AMR, the private company responsible for ambulance services in Independence, says the union misrepresents the data. It's very proud of the low turnover rates, 2.5% for full-time workers and 9.32% for part-time. The company didn't tell KMBC how it calculates the numbers. Why are people leaving? If you're not asking the questions, then you're not probably not going to find out if there, if there are any issues. The first responders see major issues down the road. They want the city to ask AMR more questions, but the city won't. In a statement, the city says its ordinance does not require a private business to operate in a certain manner. Union workers say they aren't asking that. The city ordinance allows for more reporting requests, and other cities get more information from AMR. They say Independence needs to do the same. We're just uh, asking the city to uh, to keep track of this as well. We think that's due diligence on the part of the city. And the City of Independence says it monitors patient care reports and it hasn't gotten any complaints. So at this point, it feels no future additional oversight is needed. Reporting live in Independence, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News.